Hi guys, my name is Greta. I am the social media lead at Landing. We are a platform where you can make, save, and share mood boards, as well as connect with people from all over the world around any of your niche interests. Um, we are an app, Landing-Creative Universe on the App Store, and a website, Landing.Space, which is where we are right now. Um, and you can do a multitude of things on both versions of landing. But today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make a mood board um, in our studio, which is currently web exclusive. So like I said, here we are on our landing page, just landing.space. Um, and as you can see, you can sign up for an account right here. You can also download our app, but today we're just going to be staying um, on the web platform. So you will need to create an account, but it's completely free um, and onboarding should only take about five minutes. So here we are in landing. We're on the discover feed, which is uh, the main feed. As you can see, we have a ton of mood boards that you can click through and explore. To actually make your own one of these, um, you're going to want to navigate to the top right to this create board button. You want to click that. And um, as you can see, you're going to want to name your board and then select the size. We have uh, a landscape size, which is actually perfect for the like, YouTube thumbnail. Um, we have a blank portrait and then we have a blank square. We also have um, three templates that we recommend that you can also remix. Um, and remixing on landing is basically just when you get put into someone else's board and you have all of the images that they have used, you can edit it however you would like. You can delete images, you can add more, you could just kind of keep the same vibe that they have. Um, so that's nice if you don't want to like start with a blank board. Uh, but today we're just going to start uh, in the studio with a blank board. So I'm just going to name it May Vision Board. You're just going to want to press Create. And here we are in the studio with your blank board. So there are quite a few tools in our studio that I'm going to be showing you guys today. Um, first, first one up here is the community library. And this is personally my favorite part of the studio. Um, it is just a collection of images that were submitted by users for users. So you can also upload images to these to the community library. Um, as you can see, a lot of different images going on. Um, they come from all over the internet um, and we also have like link attribution so you can say where you found the images, which is really cool. And obviously, like I said, a lot going on. You can press the shuffle button and get shuffled uh, randomly generated images, which is super fun when you're not really quite sure what you want to make a board about. Um, but if you do know exactly what you want to make a board about, you can search. Um, so as you can see, we have some suggested search terms that are like most common. Um, but if you say wanted to make a summer vision board, you can just type in summer and you'll get a ton of images that users have tagged as summer, um, which is super fun. So I'm going to show you how you can play around with an image. Um, so if you want to drag an image in, it's just like that. Here's my image. And we have quite a few tools at the top. So the, this is where you can add a comment to the image. Um, and once you publish a board, which I'll show you what that is, uh, that will show up after. You can crop the image, which is just how it sounds. Crop it however you want. Um, and then my favorite tool is the remove background tool, which is completely free. Some platforms you have to pay for it, but at landing, we make it free. Um, and this is just when you completely erase the background of an image. So if we press it, there you go. It's super quick, which is amazing too. Um, and now you can just play around with this without a background. We also have flip if you want to flip an image around, which sometimes I do that as well. And then we have duplicate, which is just when you can copy and paste it, as well as opacity, which is super fun to play around with layers and colors. Um, so if you want to just like make this 50% opacity, there you go. It's like really cool for layering. And then you can also just like position the image like you can on uh, other mood boarding uh, platforms. So they send this to the back. There you go. And then you can also obviously remove it from the board. Um, 
As well as the community library, you can also just drag and drop images in. So say you had a photo from your camera roll, um, if you're making like a digital scrapbook or something, you could drag that image in and you could add it to the community library as well. You don't have to use these images, but there are like 2 million images already in there or more. Um, so there's a lot to play around with and a lot to discover. Also within the community library, you can favorite images and you can do this by clicking the star in the top right corner if you hover over an image. Um, these are some of my favorites. I love sometimes just going and landing and favorite, favoriting items. Um, and these will always be living in your community library so you can mood board with them whenever you want. Um, yeah, it's just super fun to be able to save items for later if you're making a board that's like a certain aesthetic or a theme and you find an image that you love but it doesn't really fit into the board, you can always save it um, and use it later. We also have an image library, um, which these are just like community stickers that our design team has made and a few of our community members have also designed. Um, and these are really fun to add to the board too. Uh, you can also see images that you have uploaded, which these are all images I've ever uploaded to landing, which is really cool if you wanna like use one from a former board. And then we also just have uh, images that you've used on the board just to like, keep organized. Next, we also have the text tool, which is super fun. Same. Hi. <laughs> um, and we have all these fonts. All of them are completely free. You can pick whichever font you would like for your board. You can also make it, some of them don't have this option, but you can make them bold, medium, or light, and you can up it completely however big you want it. You can also uh, change the color of the font, which is great. We have a color picking tool, so I'll pick it to our limelight green. And then you can also like flip it if you wanted to. Um, and you can also do the opacity and uh, position it as well, just like an image. Then we have the shape tool, which these are just the shapes that we have. Um, a lot of our users like to use like the square or stars. Lastly, you would probably do this first, um, but it's just in the order of our toolkit. We have a change background. Um, little button and you can either create your own color or we have some like gradients that we have made that we've had um, for years. I like love I love this one, um, but I've also created some of these myself. So here's a board that I actually made earlier. As you can see, you can just have a lot of fun playing around. Um, it's super fun to layer things. Uh, and you can also right now, I just have it fully um, not trimmed but you can trim the canvas too so you can see what it looks like after you publish it and then if you wanted to if you made a say landscape board like i did and you want to change it you can change it to a portrait mode or to a square and you'll just have to rearrange your images a little bit so once you have your finished board um, we really encourage that you publish it because that's how you interact with uh, the rest of the landing community but within the actual board uh, studio you can download your board which you can just use it to share to one of your social medias. You can use it as a, like this one could be a great, it is actually my laptop background. Um, and then you can also copy a link and share it uh, to your friends, family, whatnot. But if you publish the board, um, press this button on the top right, you can add a caption. And then you can also, we have these uh, tags that you can tag the board. So I tag this as manifesting since it's a May vision board. Um, but we have a few other ones. And I just want to preface that publishing a board doesn't make it like a permanent permanent post. Um, you can always go back and edit your boards. Like I made this one earlier today and I'm back in here. If I wanted to, I could change or add an image um, and then it will automatically save. So all landing boards are auto saved. You don't have to worry about saving your creations and you can always go back in and change something because we don't think that posting a board and making it perfect like we want to make sure that you know that you can you know cop back in and have fun and play around and sometimes like your aesthetic will change and you want to get back in there and change some things around so completely fluid you're able to change it uh whenever you want but so i'm just gonna publish this board and we have some suggestions to share it to twitter pinterest um you can copy link and you can also download the app and see it in the app um, but I'm just going to click view board and here we are on the public board page. Um, as you can see, my friend Ashley commented, 
Uh, but once you actually publish a board, as you can see, I have glitter and glitter is our form of likes on landing. Um, I'm the only person that can really see how many glitters I have. Um, but it's just a fun little, fun little way to change up likes, a uh, little glitter icon on mobile. If you double tap a board, it shows up with glitter, which is really fun. Um, you can also save your board to a collection on web. You can download it again from here or share it. And as you can see, someone already remixed my board, which is super exciting. And if they remixed it and published it, I could click into it and comment and say, like, I love their take on my board. Um, another thing just to know is we have this explored items button. So if you click that, you can see all of the items that I use. So if someone were to come onto my board and like they loved that I use these stickers, they could click the star and save it in their community library and they could use it in a future board. And then also to note, as you can see, as I hover over, these are all of the links of the item, of the photos that I used. So I can see where the users got um, the photo, which is super cool for attribution. Um, I actually added this one, but if I clicked this, it would send me to the Vogue article that I got it on. Um, so super cool for shopping um, and just like crediting where you get your images, which we're really passionate about at landing. And we're on my profile and as you can see, here is my board. So these are all the boards that I've made. Um, people can go in, they can like, they can comment, and they can also follow me, which is super fun. So I hope you guys enjoyed this easy step-by-step -step guide on how to make a mood board on landing. Comment down below any questions you have about the platform, and I would be happy to answer them. And yeah, hope you like this and happy mood boarding.